Today I'm going to do a, a review of this Rode Video Pro shotgun microphone. If you're not familiar with Rode, they are one of the world's best external microphone brands. Very good for DSLR, GoPro cameras, um, and they normally come with a 3.5 millimeter adapter, so you can plug it straight into your DSLR, for instance. This particular microphone, it's kind of it's it's a video mic pro, so it's the entry level into the pro level audio. Uh, the reason I bought this is because I was asked to do the videography at a rock concert last week, and I thought, well, I better get some pro level audio. And this microphone did not let me down. The video. Video and audio quality were superb. Uh, what what I did was put it on my DSLR camera, which is only an entry level camera. It's a Nikon D fifty three hundred, um, and yeah, it turned out to be a very good rig. Now I'm going to show you how to set that up, and I'm going to show you just these controls on the Rode. Video Mic Pro. So it's very easy to control um, and to set up this Video Mic Pro. First of all, turn it on, and if you turn it to the next level, there's a high pass filter, which I think is a no brainer. It filters out any unwanted, um, unwanted noise. So you just turn it on, put it on high high pass filter it's got a 9 volt battery in here square 9 volt battery and it's supposed to last for 70 hours or 90 hours or something so yeah it's, you're gonna see a few rock concerts out of one of these and the only other control you've got is a gain it's either negative 10 decibels 0 or 20 decibels positive 20 now I believe well, zero is plenty good enough in most situations. If you've got, and, and that's actually what I used at the rock concert, 20, sorry, zero is what I used at the rock concert. I tried using 20 and I found that it it just boosted the audio signal much, much too high for a rock concert. So I took it back to zero, it was just fine. Uh, why would you use minus 10? Well, I don't know, maybe a... Uh, videoing a very loud noise like maybe a jackhammer or a aeroplane or something you might want to reduce the input audio signal but yeah normally it would be zero or plus 20 plus 20 if it's a quiet situation zero if it's quite a loud situation like a rock concert and the only other thing you need to do is plug it in so you can just plug it in straight away but this cable, I think, is much better if you loop it around once. Plug it into your 3.5 millimeter jack. And there you have it. It's all set up, ready to go. Almost. So I'll just have a quick look at the camera settings, which you need to uh, use. Now, this will be different for each camera, of course. So af after you turn it on, the first thing you want, you're going to need to do is to navigate click the menu button navigate over to the menu now on the Nikon it's a case of going to the shooting menu all the way to the bottom there's a setting called movie settings this is where you'll set the frame rate Set the movie quality, and this is the part we're interested in with the microphone. We need to click on that, and we can have manual sensitivity, auto sensitivity, microphone off. So we definitely want to set manual sensitivity. And the trick is to get it onto around about the 12 level. So we're going to have a bit of a test here. So testing, 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 we just 
set it up or down until we get to 12. Testing, testing, testing. See, I'm a little bit too high there. I'll just drop it down. Testing, testing, one, two, three. A little bit too high still. Testing, one, two, three. That's probably about the right level there. The audio signal is peaking out. Uh, maybe about there. I've got it set to nine and I'm gonna press OK. See, it's peaking out right on 12. So we've now done everything we need to do to set up the microphone. Just set manual set, manually set the sensitivity. Yeah, so when you do shoot some video, you can change your display settings so that there's a uh, signal strength indicator on your display screen. So you can just check if you're at about the right level. If, it, if you go into the yellow zone above 12, it's going to let you know. And that's really all there is to setting up the Video Mic Pro onto a Nikon DSLR camera. You just need to get your first turn it on, put it on, um, put it on the filter, put it on the gain level that you want, high, medium or low, depending on how loud is your surrounding sound. Set your microphone manual sensitivity. After that, you're good to go. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this microphone. It really does a good job. Uh, I picked it up for $150 Australian, second hand off eBay. That was, uh, well, quite a good bargain. I think they're 230, 240 brand new on in the shops. That's Australian dollars. So there you have it, folks. That's the Rode Video Mic Pro, how to set it up on your DSLR camera. I can tell you this does give better results than my other Rode camera, which is a Rode Video Micro. Great little camera, great little microphone on the GoPro. This one is much better suited to the DSLR. You could actually put this on the GoPro if you wanted to, um, but it's a little bit more cumbersome than cumbersome than the Video Micro. Great little, great little microphone. Uh, very easy to use. Uh, not as complicated as the Video Mic Pro Plus or any of those other high-end Rode microphones. Do yourself a favour, grab one of these, like and subscribe, tell us if you've got any better ideas, and happy videoing. See you later. So there you have it, folks, a review of the Rode Video mic pro bit of a mouthful but great microphone superb fit for my nikon dslr camera and after rigorously road testing it at a rock concert i can tell you that it does the job superbly i'm very happy with the results and it does record better audio than my other microphone which happens to be a rode video micro normally i hook that up to the gopro and that's actually what you're listening to now. So yeah, grab yourself one of these. Um, you can find them second hand for quite cheap, as I did, or I would still be happy to buy a brand new. Right. So uh, let me know how you go with yours, if you have any problems setting it up on your DSLR. I hope you can find an awesome rock concert to record, and uh, yeah, happy videoing. Love these Rode microphones, made in Australia, in case you didn't know. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe, watch out for more videos, and...